Hi, I'm Kelly and Kaz. Welcome to this channel, Stone the Crown. Huge weekend of doing turfy stuff, I suppose. Um, stayed at a mate's place. Uh, went to a conference that was organised by IWD Women, Me Engine, which was pretty cool. The unfortunate thing was it had been organised to be in the CBD, in the, the city central, um, and we were cancelled. The event venue cancelled us. According to the turban, we've been cancelled due to the amount of harassment the venue got from the TQ Plus. Um, according to the TQ Plus via Instagram, um, it was because we were TERFs they kicked us out because you, you just can't have any of those TERFs being TERFs. You know, like... I was literally one of the people that um, went and checked out the venue, spoke to the manager, and they had no problem with what we were there for. They had no problem at all. The very fact that we got cancelled a week out, at the same time, a group of individuals decided that they were going to start their their protest right outside the venue. So, mmm, mmm, coincidences? Yeah, uh, um, yeah, I don't fucking believe in coincidences, eh? They just don't really... Synchronicity? Yeah, synchronicity. But coincidences? Nah, nah. I don't believe in coincidences. Not like that anyway, you know. The venue had been booked well, well and truly in advance. So, and as I said, I was one of the people that actually went and checked out the venue, um, checked out numerous venues with the Turban. Um, I do not run IWD Brisbane Me Engine. But I do support IWD Brisbane Me Engine, and I help with uh, editing their videos for YouTube and anything else that I can help with. And I'm quite happy to upskill where possible. So, again, there was five women that spoke at this meeting, and in the last minute, we've had to change the venue and we've had to keep it to ourselves. And a big huge thank you and much heart to everybody who turned up even though like the the venue had changed and the venue change did make it harder for people to get to because again CBD is ideal the, the centre of Brisbane is ideal for for people coming Coastway Coastway Bayway Bayway Westway Northway Southway like, do you know what I mean? It's the CBD. It's central. <laughs> but the speakers we had were amazing. We had five speakers. Unfortunately, one was ill. They couldn't make it. Um, but we got to meet an Olympian. Yeah. Um, Deb is... Uh, they'll go over to IWD, me engine. There's still one more speaker that um to be uploaded and edited for i'll be doing that tonight but the rest of them were already up so please go over deb is been a olympic and athlete she's very athletic and she's been doing this for 20 years and she's amazing she her particular talk really like, um, got into my head like, like a brain grub, you know, it was just unreal, the fact that this woman, this, this Olympian was in the first lot of women to be accepted at the Olympic Games as a weightlifter. Men could weightlift in the Olympic Games for around 150 years, 
but women were not allowed to do the sport and she was amongst the first women to be able to to do that at that standard without their uteruses falling out which is what was believed back in the day um her story is remarkable because she not only like literally not only started off there she ended up and finished her career because um as you can see you don't it's not my words mate go check out her words owd go check it out was in the commonwealth games here where laura hubbard yes the new zealander man with his junk still intact was on in the commonwealth games so how do you go from literally being one of the very first women to be able to do that particular sport that was only offered to men for 20 bloody years and then finish your career having to compete against the man go check it out the stats are just phenomenal and she backs it all up now this is the thing that really like burns my bloody noodle about this shit hey is that women I'm 47, like I said, older women are now enemy, public enemy number one because we know what a woman is and that as soon as you say that a man is a woman, then being a woman means nothing and more means nothing. So um, there was the amazing Steph. Steph always brings... Um, the focus in on crime statistics, the, the difference between those imprisonated in Queensland that are male, men border boy and those that are women um, her stats and I've spoken about Steph before if you go back to my playlist you'll see that I have a little bit of a talk about one of the talks that she's done before in regards to the amount of women in jail in Queensland compared to men. So there's about 10,000 men currently castrated in Queensland jails. There is actually 800 women castrated in female jails. So when you start looking at the statistics of male pattern violence and those who identify, and that's the thing, hey, those who identify as women will raise the level like i mean you literally got a case here in queensland and i think this is one of the rare places that you can sort of document this which you literally will have this moment in time after self-id if we just keep allowing these men to identify as women into women prisons they're going to be more men in women's prisons than they're going to be women the other thing is is this like um 97 to 99 percent and that is 97 to 99% of sexual predators or those who act on that type of violence are men, are biological men, are XY carriers. 99% of their target victims are women, girls, XX chromosome carriers. Male pattern violence doesn't just stop the moment someone puts a wig and some lippy on. It just doesn't. It doesn't. And until there is no man in a jail that has violently ever put their hands on a woman, no man should be in jail. And it was really interesting too because she talked about the... Um, different... Um, like the Mandela sort of... Stuff, like so anyway it's really deep I'm not a scholar or intellectual like that I am just a Sheila I am just a random gothy alternative lifestyler that is odd that is weird but never queer 
I am not queer. I am well, odd. I am strange. I am weird. But there ain't no fucking queer. Yeah? Right? Let's bring back those who want to be completely alternative lifestylers but don't want to wrap themselves in the licorice all sorts umbrella. Um, so yeah, no, it was a huge, it was a huge weekend for me. I, I'm a little bit cracky um, in my voice because I stayed with a mate, a turfy mate, went to the venue that had been changed, um, helped set up the um, audio visual with the amazing woman Helen. And um, yeah, recorded it, editing it. Um, but guess what? You didn't stop us speaking. You didn't stop us speaking. You didn't stop us finding a venue. You didn't stop us speaking. And if you want to know, you little hate watchers out there, because I know I picked up a few Brisbane hate watchers. And. Um, to one in particular, I would give a nice salute, you know, might um, make the connection between the name, but this is my Jupiter finger in palm reading, and this is my Saturn finger in palm reading, to that I give you a Saturn salute. You didn't stop us speaking, and we're not going to stop speaking, and if you think we're speaking hey, get over to IWD Me Engine's page, watch the damn videos. But no one's stopping us speaking. It ain't never going to happen. It ain't going to happen. I'm never going to shut up just because some man in a dress tells me to shut the fuck up. I've been happily married for a very long time. Wouldn't be happily married at all if my man, my husband, the guy I've been with for God, 23 years, married for 23 years, together nearly 29 years, Kept shutting me down like that. Kept trying to shut my mouth. Be as fabulous as you like, people. Be as fabulous as you like. Put up your stuff all over Twitter. Go for gold. Born a man. Sorry. Born a boy. Die a man. As Rex Landy would say. Cope, sieve and dilate. Where we tried to protest the turfs. Where they were no longer at the venue. Where did we shut them up? No. And we'll be back. Hell yeah. Will we ever stop? Nah. So on that, that was my weekend. Rocking it with Olympians. Rocking it with psychiatrists and psychologists. Rocking it with some. Fabulous lesbian turfs and rocking it with those who know the statistics in jails and rocking it with those who know reality. And I'm gonna love you for now because it's really hot in this front room. Sweat mustache. At least I can't walk the makeup off. But I'll love you for now. I'll talk to you later. Remember, speak truth always. Loud. Unapologetically. Stay loud, my friends. <laughs> and for now, this Queensland turf says, stay out.